Hello, internet friends. I'm Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark. And tonight it is my distinct honor to show you yet another pedal from Tom Cram at Spiral Electric. Tonight we will be looking at the Black Spiral 2. Is no secret around here that Tom Cram is one of my favorite dirt merchants on the planet, and I am a big fan of not only his work, but him as a person. Quick reminder, you can still go back and watch the live show that we did with him because that was really, really cool, and he had a lot of really, really great things to say. But let's move on to the Black Spiral 2. This is a versatile and aggressive fuzz with a unique blend of vintage and futuristic technology. The circuit itself is based on a 70s maestro fuzz. The new version, this is the second, uh, features a wide open bias control, much like the Allura. Uh, three discrete voicing options, a hybrid tone stack, which is a mix of the Brute and the Allura, and an unbelievable amount of output. The three-way discrete toggle voicing that I was talking about offers up an 80N a blower, which is just straight transistor, as well as a silicon 1N914. So first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna run it down on a mix. I'm going to run it on everything except for drums. So it's gonna be on synth, guitar, bass, all of that. And come on back here and we will grab some sounds out of this pedal all by It's Lonesome. <laughs> Take a deeper dive into the Black Spiral 2 from Spiral Electric. Let's start out with the control. So up top we have gain, and that is your level of saturation. Clockwise is more saturated. Uh, counterclockwise is less saturated. Then we have the detail control, and this will add more treble and presence. Then we have an output control, and there's just gobs of output on this will blow up the front of your amp if you want it to and i am always in favor of that then we have the bias control here and that is the texture of the fuzz itself and then we have the voicing selector here so up top we have an 80n which is an asymmetrical diode then we have straight transistor fuzz and then 
we have a Silicon 1N914 there. So I am going to be running this Bunting Guitars Melody Queen, and we have mini humbuckers in there, which I think is a good balance between uh, single and dual coil pickups. And I'm running into a Silk Tone amp. Silk Tone amp sounds like this. these three voicings down we're going to start at the top which is the ADN the asymmetrical clipping and uh, we'll work our way through all three of them
was just a brief overview of the Black Spiral 2 from Spiral Electric. And this fuzz kind of kind of does everything. It kind of gets you into every single ballpark that you want to be in. Like, I mean, it is it is super versatile. And the low gain stuff sounds just as good as the high gain stuff. And the really dark stuff sounds just as good as the really bright stuff. And all of the different voicings sound incredible as well. So I have zero complaints except that I have an issue where I have quite a few spiral electric fuzzes at this point and I have a really hard time deciding which one goes on my board. So. Thanks for keeping me up at night, Tom. And thank you for your time.